What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dance Anime. And today, I am showing you a video that I filmed about a month ago. I didn't really get a chance to edit it right until now. So for the very first time, I got to meet my internet friends that I've known for about four to five years now. And pretty much about a year ago, we had the idea that, hey, we should meet up. So we did just that and we met up over in New York City for the anime convention, Anime NYC. And we just had a blast. It was super weird, super awkward, but super duper fun. So what you're about to see is a montage of that and my thoughts. So sit back, relax, and I guess, enjoy. <laughs> Your, yeah, it was your first New York hot dog. Yeah. I want you to tell me uh, out of how many ten hot dogs uh, do you rate this hot dog? I give it two out of ten. One two out, out of ten. How many shishito peppers? One shishito pepper out of ten. That's, okay, that's very little. Kevin Miner. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your last name. It's Miner, yeah. Okay. It's like uh, the job. <laughs> I dig. I need your rating of, of your hot dog. Oh, hot dog rating. Zero out of ten. That was a zero? Dang, yeah. Yeah. What? But you ate it so fast. No, I threw it in the trash can. You didn't like it? Okay, it was oh, no. It was like they bought a pack of hot dogs at the freezer aisle, and it was not all these. Like, it was just a bad hot dog. I was saying, I would double down on it. And they had more stuff.
So, uh, that trip sucked. No, honestly, that was one of the best trips I have ever had, ever. I thought that I was going to die when, I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I guess that's why I was raised to, to be taught to like, you know, not meet people on the internet. You know, I've been talking to these guys for about four years, maybe plus, um, and it was one of the greatest experiences I have ever experienced. It was crazy. Make sure the people you meet on the internet, you know, are good people and that like you could trust them and you've talked to them for years. Obviously there's like risks of being like catfished or whatever, but yeah, who cares? Whew. I don't even know where to begin. I guess, let me give you the pay, the play by play. Wow, I, I can't speak. Let me give you the play by play. So the way this meetup started was that one of the friends kind of proposed to meet up, you know, about a year earlier before this. And then I was just like, oh yeah, I'm down. I agree that I want to go. And I'm just like, whatever, I'll just let it go. And all of a sudden I blink and like, oh, the meetup's in two weeks. And I'm like freaking out. <laughs> all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is real. Like none of us canceled out. Well, I guess to be fair, there was like I think there's supposed to be like 12 people going, I think out of all like 6 people showed up or something. Yeah, other than that, like it was still a pretty good time despite, you know, some people not showing up because of life and everything. I mean, luckily I just had to drive like an hour out, so to be honest, I, I could have been that friend that was like chilling in bed and just like, yeah, I'm on my way, meanwhile I just put the covers back on. <laughs> I know those people, I know there are people watching this that are exactly that person, so leave a like if you relate to that. We're two weeks out and like, I don't know why I'm nervous. It's like I'm meeting, it's like I'm meeting like an internet girlfriend for the first time. I have no idea why. I'm like getting my hair cut in preparation for this. I'm like making sure I look like the best I can and everything. Gotta make sure I'm wearing like the right clothes and stuff. And I'm getting butterflies. It's affecting my stomach. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> It was like I was going on a blind date for, I guess, lack of a better of an, a better analogy. Let's talk about the drive there. I drive up to New York and it's like about hour, a little over an hour. It's probably like an hour, 20 minute drive or something like that. With each minute that passes by, I'm getting more nervous and more nervous and more nervous. And like my stomach is feeling crazy right now. Butterflies out the ass. I'm like about to puke or something. Like, I don't know. I'm just feeling the jitters and I'm just not... I'm not right, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> and like I, I hit traffic in New York cause that's, that's just New York things, right? I get a call from one of the friends and I'm like, I don't want to answer this right now. This, this is too real, this is crazy. You know, I answered it and I'm just like, you, you know how, you know that like gif of like, there was like the, <laughs> the gif of like that dude and he has the water bottle and he's like, well, yeah, that was like me, but like phone version. I'm just like, I answered the phone and it's just like, by the way, this other guy's name is Kevin. So, you know, he's just like, Kevin, I'm just like, you know, I have what I call big awkward energy. It's like when you have like anxiety, right? And you just flip it on its head and use that to be just really spunky and sporadic. That's kind of me. And I call that big awkward energy. <laughs> so pretty much. I use my big awkward energy and I'm just like, hey other Kevin, like I'm just trying to be cool, right? I'm just trying to crack jokes. And he was just like, so we're all here. Um, we're wondering how far you are so we could go out to eat if we should like wait for you or something like that. To preface, I had an audition to go to like about an hour before I had to make the drive or something like that. But anyways, I get the call and he's just like wondering if I want to eat like with them should they wait and I'm just like you know what don't worry about my emotions and feelings <laughs> and I'm just like go go and eat and he was just like no 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 um I just want to know how far you are he's like we, we care about your emotions <laughs> and I'm just I don't know I'm feeling nervous I'm like, I don't even care what this guy is saying I think I'm like an hour out maybe or something like that like just due to traffic i would say i was like 30 minutes or something like that i'm freaking out and he's just like yeah we'll just go out and eat out there i'm just like, oh, oh thank god right whatever minutes pass by we make it to new york we make it to the parking garage because new york has no parking we go into the airbnb there is no one in there right so i'm in there 
and I'm singing. I don't know why. I told you. I told you about the big awkward energy. I'm still feeling nervous, so I'm just singing and dancing, and I'm like, no one's here. Um, I got my bags in there, and I'm feeling good, but not good. And that's just big awkward energy. I'm singing, I'm singing, I'm dancing, I'm making noise, I'm banging pots. It's kind of looking like the Tarzan like scene where like he's just or all the apes are just I guess gorillas. I don't know if they're like if they get mad if they get called apes. I don't know. Um, I, mean, I ain't a scientist, a biologist, whatever. And they're banging on the pots. That's me. The sheep up, sheep. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm doing that, and I go and I thought I checked every room. And I'm dancing, I'm singing, I'm going, and I go into this room, and there was a lump, a big lump, on the on one of the beds, and immediately I just freeze up, and I'm like, oh my god, that's a person, and I'm like, they're sleeping. I felt so bad, and I just sat down and just chilled. I was like, nope, I ain't no more big awkward energy. I'm staying and sitting there. That's it. I put myself in timeout. Pretty much, I just wait and wait and just chill and stuff like that until I hear like the door open up and I'm like oh no at this point I'm like about to throw up I feel like I'm gonna just like hey what's going on Kevin and just and just like all over everyone's like well we we found the one weird internet friend like the one weirdo from the internet once everyone kind of came up and saw me it was like all open arms like you know we're all being quirky to be honest we were all awkward which was like which helped a lot and pretty much they you know we all hugged each other which was like one of the greatest feelings the one of the first things I did was that like I was going through like a dark time I guess like years ago years ago I'm like over that now but like at the time they were the ones to kind of like bring me back up so I, I it was cool to like personally thank them for that which was like one of the most amazing feelings it felt like just such a like I was waiting to read that last chapter of the book, but I didn't want to finish it yet, or I couldn't finish it yet. I guess maybe writing a book? Yeah, that makes sense, right? It was like, finally, I could finally write that last chapter of the book before I closed it, and that was just like one of the most amazing feelings to do. If you were to take anything from this, if you have internet friends, if you had them for like years, you got to know them, you talk constantly, you have to meet your internet friends. It is one of the most gratifying experiences that I have ever had in my whole life. It was truly one of the weirdest things, but it was a good weird, you know what I mean? And yeah, we just had a, a great time at the con. You saw the video that, you know, before this, hopefully, if you didn't skip through the video. But yeah, it was it was crazy and I it was one of the best times I have ever had. So please, if you have internet friends and you haven't made plans to meet up, obviously if you're comfortable with it, make sure everyone's comfortable with that. But if you do, you have to meet your internet friends. It is amazing. I guess I'll end the video right there just so I stop rambling and just talk your ear off the whole time. If you have a chance, please, 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 if you can, visit my Patreon, patreon.com slash dance anime. It would help fund everything that I'm doing for here because it does cost money to make these videos, so that would be super helpful. It costs money for that, that, this thing, me, am I an AI? Who knows? I might have costed 10 million, 10 million dollars for, for this pretty shitty AI if you ask me, but you know, that's alright. That's how I was programmed. If you can, please like the video. If you, I guess if you didn't, you could leave a dislike. Even if you did dislike it, could you please share the video to someone that most likely will like it, you know? I don't know why you would be clicking on this channel if you weren't into like, I guess, anime and video games, but I appreciate the view. <laughs> it would mean the world to me if you did share this video with your friends um, that would like this kind of content. So, in advance, thank you. I guess until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.